Ruff Ruff videos. Hi, my ILO students. Let's take a deep breath in. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. We are um, using our ruler this week. Remember how we went over and we counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Remember 12 inches. And we were using that to with our cubes to measure how many cubes it would take to make certain inches on our ruler. Today, we're gonna just use our ruler and measure everyday items. So you can pick any items close to you. Probably needs to be shorter than one foot unless you wanna have help with the parent. But I have some items that I had right next to me that I thought I can measure all this. I have an eraser. I have a dry erase marker. Marker. I have my drinking cup. And I have a package of M&Ms. And you know what else I'm gonna measure? I'm gonna measure my thumb. And I'm also gonna measure, I think I'll measure my nose. Here we go, let's see. Now if I'm looking at this er eraser and I'm looking at my ruler and I'm looking, I remember I'm guessing, it's kind of fun to do that whole estimate or guesstimate. I would be like, hmm, I would say that's probably four inches long. Now I can take my ruler and I can put that on there. And guess what? Wow, Miss Kelly was spot on. It is four inches long. Four, just a tiny bit bigger than that. Okay, my marker. Well, if my racer was four inches, I would think my marker is gonna be five inches. So let's see what happens when I put this on the marker. Remember, you gotta go start at the end. And it's just over five inches. I'm gonna go, I'm going to round to the nearest. And then, that's five inches. Hmm, I would say the M&M's package. Oh wait, I have my cup first. Ooh, that's tall. I would say that's at least 10 inches. I'm gonna go with 11. Let's see how close I am. So you can put it right there. Oh, Miss Kelly was off on that one. Look at that, it's nine inches. Boy, was I off on that one. What about the M&M's package? Well, I'm gonna go with three. Let's see if I'm off again. Okay, you can see the numbers better. Ooh, it's three and a half. It's right between three and four. If I were to pick one number, round up or down, I have to round up to four because it is closer to the four than the three. There we go. I can put the four. And my thumb. How long do you think my thumb is? Hmm. I'm going to go with three inches. Let me see. Let's measure my thumb. Nope. It's just at two and a half inches. So we'll go with or if you want to be more specific, you can definitely do two and a half inches. So for those friends who want to be more accurate and feel comfortable with writing their fractions, it's two and a half you can put there. What about my nose? Well, nobody gets to make any jokes about Miss Kelly's nose, but I know it's kind of a longer nose. I'm going to guess it's at least two inches. I hope it's not longer, but that's okay if it is because I still like my nose. So to measure my nose, I'm gonna try going right into here. Let's see, yeah, right there. Oh my goodness, I feel like it's long. Nope, it's right at two inches. <laughs> thank goodness, <laughs> feel a little better now. So that's what we can do. You can go through your whole house or you can go through different body parts. However you wanna do, you can measure your feet or your toes, you can measure your wrist or your neck or your ear. 
all these great things that you can measure to figure out size and and what things are in the world. I hope you're having fun with these uh, math activities using your ruler. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Rough, rough videos.